television. Most watch it. And I have my fair share. I usually may have five TV shows that I watch religiously. Sure, I watch many more, but I don't watch or keep up with them as well as I do with my top five. So, what is my top five then, you may ask? Well, <laughs> I'm not sure right now. I have many shows that are being put in place there, but I'm not, sh I'm not sure which one should go there. So, perhaps at the moment I only have three TV shows that I watch religiously. I actually listen to music more than I watch TV. Uh, well, just what TV shows you watch there, mister. You best stop your blabbering and get to telling us. Have some patience, I'll tell ya. Jeez. So, unlike most top whatever lists, I will start from my number one favorite first. Now why in tarnation would you do that? Can you just go back to school and shut up? Well, excuse me. Just trying to make your crappy content somewhat entertaining. Yeah, you're not helping. Anyways, let's point out the obvious. What I may say next may shock some of you. Alright, are you ready? My favorite TV show is Doctor Who. What? I know, right? I bet none of you even consider that. The hints are very subtle on my channel. I mean, there's only 140 episodes of a series called Doctor Mew that I made. Very subtle, right? Sar sarcasm aside, Doctor Who is a great show. Now, why is Dad? Some of you may not know this, but I am absolutely fascinated in the Titanic. At the, st at the time I discovered Doctor Who, I was obsessed with the Titanic. I'm not even kidding. I was freaking obsessed. I literally read the entire Wikipedia article on the Titanic in one sitting. And I'm not even kidding. Anyways, about three or four years ago, I wanted to find a Titanic documentary to watch my free time. So there I was, searching for Titanic documentaries, and I stumbled upon something interesting. Voyage of the Damned. I clicked, read the description, thought it was interesting, and I recorded it on my DVR. Later, I watched it, and I was hooked. Alrighty, we know how you found it. Real nice. Now why don't you tell us folks why the show is so great? The creative concept? The sublime writing, the time travel, the space travel, the aliens. What more is it to say? Isn't it obvious? Well, perhaps. Now can you just go back to your muddy truck and drive away as far as possible while I finish up with this list? Fine. Anywho, where was I? Oh, that's right, number two. This one isn't as obvious as number one, but it won't be that much of a shocker because I have made videos of this show in the past. The number two spot goes to The Simpsons. Freaking Comedy gold. Every time I watch this show, I always crack up laughing at least once. Clever, hilarious writing. Funny, likable characters. Good animation. Great show. While it may not be in its golden years anymore, I still think The Simpsons is a great show now. I'll have to disagree with the people who say that the show has gone completely bad. In my opinion, it's still a great show. That's that. Now, Number three may not be a shocker to people who are longtime subscribers or have just watched my most popular video. Number three spot goes to SpongeBob SquarePants. Look, I'm still in my childhood, but I think I should just say it. This show is literally my childhood. I have been watching this show since I was born and still enjoy it. Like The Simpsons, it is past its golden years. But unlike other people, I still think Spongebob is funny now. Might just be nostalgia goggles, but probably not. Give the show a watch. Always makes me laugh. That's all. There are my top five, three... Top... the Top three favorite TV shows. This will probably change in the future, but maybe not. Anyways, leave your opinions in the comments below. Just don't be a butthole. See you next video, guys. Bye.